Hey guys, it's Luke. Welcome back. We're going to be answering a question today, English question from Roxana. Roxana has a good question. Uh, and it's, it's interesting. I'll explain why it's interesting in just a second. Before we answer the question, before we talk about it, guys, just to let you know what this is, this is daily English. So ask your English questions in the comments. Make sure you ask good ones, interesting ones. Maybe it's about culture. Maybe it's about grammar. Maybe it's about phrases, pronunciation, whatever. Ask your questions in the comments. Make them good ones. Okay, also, if you like the video, don't forget to give the video a, a little, a little bitty like. Just hit the like button. I get very happy when I see likes. And also it tells YouTube, hey, other people should see this. And YouTube goes, oh, okay, we'll tell more people. Okay, the like button is very important. Okay, so let's answer Roxana's question, which is, what is the difference in pronunciation between a N T and A U N T. And the answer is there is no difference. Now, some people will say my aunt, okay? But this is an American English channel. We say aunt. A U N T A N T. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Aunt, aunt. That's weird. They're spelled differently. So how can they be the same? But this is a thing called a homophone. A homophone is a word that sounds the same as another word. It sounds exactly the same. But the spelling may be different. Yes, yes, sorry, sorry, yes, lots sorry. and lots sorry. of examples of this. Another one would be aisle. A I S L E. I apostrophe L L like I will, right? And I S L E. Those three have exactly the same pronunciation, different spelling. Isle, isle, isle. Or how about there? T H E I R, T H E R E. T H E Y, apostrophe, R E. There, there, there. Same pronunciation. So again, these are called homophones because they sound the same. The other one is called homograph. This is, graph is related to writing, right? A homograph is spelled the same, but sounds different. For example, B-O-W could mean this, right? That would be bow, bow. But if it's one of these things that you use to shoot an arrow, we say bow, or on a gift, that would also be a bow. So same spelling, B-O-W, but one is bow and one is bow. So that's pretty interesting. These are called homographs, and there are many, many, many of them. It's a pretty interesting thing about the English language, actually, that we have these two types of things. It's kind of weird. Words that are spelled the same that sound different, words that sound the same, which are spelled in a different way. If you're interested in learning more about uh, homophones and homographs, this type of thing, as well as lots of other pronunciation. I have a, a course, it's called American English Pronunciation, and I'm really excited because it's about to hit, it's about to hit a thousand reviews. Not a thousand students, a thousand reviews. So it's got lots of students, thousands of students, but a thousand reviews is a lot, okay? Average reviews is right now at about 4.6 which is pretty good for Udemy. So, and it's actually a pretty good, pretty good price. I'll put a special discount to the course if you're interested in the link in the description. So you can just uh, check that out if you're interested. It's three hours long. It's a great way to improve your pronunciation. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully uh, I've answered your question in a very long way, Roxana. Guys, don't forget to ask questions in the comments. And if you have any other questions about other homophones, homographs, let me know in the comments and give the video a like and check out the course. And I will see you in the next one.